Hello, you car. Peter Christensen here. Here, I'm British today. Coming to you from the CEO's desk. Um, welcome. So, if all goes well, this will post on the last day of February. And so that means this is the last uh, advertising topic we're gonna have. So, let's get right to it. Advertising. Um, teams. A lot of you work in teams. And they're cool, they work, right? Um, but it, it poses a couple challenges for advertising. And so the rule, there's actually a rule at the division on teams. And it basically says that uh, advertising for teams shall be, or I guess teams are subject to the same rules as individual licensees. That means really just a couple things. Uh, it means number one, that you have to identify your broker still. So you, I know a lot uh, uh, of teams really kind of brand their team over the brokerage. And that's, that's fine if that's, that's the way you want to do it, but you got to still make sure your brokerage name is in there. Uh, that can be problematic that way. Uh, the other issue is uh, when, and this doesn't happen very often, but every once in a while there are there are teams or or I guess maybe it's temporary where you're teaming up with another agent from another brokerage that gets super super complicated because uh, it's it's hard the division doesn't want the consumer to be misled that's kind of their their thing with advertising and so uh, it makes them a little twitchy when teams pop up with people from different brokerages uh, because it's hard they have to be clearly identified they don't want the, the consumer misled to think one uh, agent works for a different brokerage that kind of thing so if that is the case which i don't know how common that is but regardless make sure it's clearly uh, identified somewhere in your marketing that each what brokerage each agent belongs to and uh, if it's a temporary situation again I've had that question throughout the years of um, you know for some reason we're teaming up and co-listing a property maybe uh, they just have different uh, areas they operate in and they want to advertise and market in those areas so they'll say can we can we do that and uh, as long as the paperwork's all in order and everyone's clear on, uh, and, and the clients are clear that they're hiring multiple agents and brokerages, sure, uh, there's nothing illegal about that, but you have to do triple duty on advertising who is doing what and who is from what brokerage. You probably never run into that. Hopefully you'll never run into that scenario, but if you do, just make sure you're clearly identifying, you should be good. Uh, hopefully you had a good time with the advertising theme this month and uh, have a great day.